Hi, this is Zach Mir, editor of Spreadbet Magazine, with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Monday, July the 7th. And I'm starting off with Excite Energy, where we have uh, reasonable progress in terms of uh, what was uh, theoretically a triple floor here, with the shares towards uh, 60 pence. Uh, we've broken back above the 20-day moving average at 65 pence. And all that's really required now, hopefully, uh, in terms of getting this stock back towards the top of the 60 pence to 90 pence range, is an end of day close above the 50 day moving average at 69.9 pence. We've been uh, we've seen mirroring of the improvement in the technicals with the fundamental news as well. So uh, this should be the week when uh, a decent attempt at uh, breaking to the upside is seen. Moving along to another oil and gas play, and that's uh, Victoria. Uh, here you've got uh, the progress after the initial uh, break through the 200 day moving average uh, early last month. Uh, extended bull flag and then a further breakout through 1.4 pence. Looks like got a decent opportunity to go long or be long above this 1.4 pence a June peak uh, for a target now towards uh, 1.9 pence. The initial target was 1.8 uh, up at the top of the uh, 2013 price channel. Uh, but we seem to be could actually uh, sneak in a few more uh, pips above that as well. Uh, Moving along again to Sirius Minerals, and here you can see that uh, it looks as though things are starting to uh, uh, get more exciting in terms of the price action. And this is on the basis of a, a break uh, through the top of a, a triangle formation in place uh, on the daily chart since uh, December. Uh, the nominal top of the triangle was 11.8 pence, which is where the 20-day moving average is now, and uh, that could take the shares back towards 16 pence. Uh, while the 20-day line holds uh, over the next four to six weeks. So uh, encouraging signs over Sirius after, obviously, the disappointment we saw uh, for the shares uh, last year. Finally, just wanted to go through uh, a couple of stocks which are um, in focus sort of all the time at the moment, and that's uh, Quindell. Here we have uh, the, the consolidation between the uh, May uptrend line and uh, the uh, May uptrend from last year and the May resistance line uh, from this year. Uh, the 20-day moving average of £2.26 is now the line in the sand in terms of being the buy trigger, and uh, one would be looking for that to be broken on an end-of-day close basis uh, to get a decent value out of Quindell uh, for those who believe in the company. Uh, otherwise, uh, £2 is the floor which needs to be held from last year's support line. And uh, finally, we've got Blinks here where a uh, decent move up on Friday. Well, that was the easy part, perhaps, of the near-term analysis in the, in the sense that the stock was so oversold uh, on the three-day RSI scale towards zero that uh, there almost had to be uh, a rebound there. Uh, now the situation, we've got some res resistance at uh, Thursday's high around the 35 uh, pence level, and you'd really want to see an end-of-day close back above that uh, to get any confidence in terms of retesting the post-crash high of 45 pence. That's it for me. More updates at spreadbackmagazine.com.